All right, go ahead. Okay, um, real quick, because I don't know, know how much memory is left on the phone. <laughs> I wanted to show a couple of the new feline diabetes message, uh, the feline diabetes message board and feline diabetes Facebook page members, uh, how easy it is to home test even a difficult cat. This is followed by a video that I did on how I conditioned my cat to home test because she's not an easy cat to handle at all. Now, my cat right now is in remission for her second time, uh, thanks to Love and Mirror and tight regulation and feline diabetes message board. However, I still like to test her a couple of times a week, especially because if her blood sugar is up, it tells me if she's having a hairball issue or if her stomach's upset, she is in kidney disease. So uh, blood sugar is kind of a good indicator on how she's feeling overall. Um, this is our bribery. You don't have to zoom in that much, Mom. Mom, right. this is our bribery snack, okay? Uh, she gets raw chicken after she tests. This is how I conditioned her to sit through home testing. So um, I didn't, I usually cut them and put them in individual baggies, but we just bought them like 15 minutes ago. So, um, all right, you want to zoom in, Mom, over here. Sorry, my mom's taping and I do use the rely on confirm. It is actually 40 points off of, are you zooming in on it, mom? I'm trying to. Okay, you don't have to, this is to rely on confirm. Okay, uh, it is 40 points off of the vet. However, um, the whole point here is to catch trends and to prevent a hypo. So I just follow the instructions on tight regulation and how to prevent hypos and I go by these numbers to tell me how she's doing. I use the One Touch Delicate Lancing Device. I've never had any luck with the generic Lancing Device that comes with the Rely On Confirm or the El Cheapo ones that you buy at Walmart. Um, this is definitely worth the money. And I use the 31, I think there's a 31 gauge lancets to go in it. So you just take the cap off your Lancing Device. A lot of people do use the generic Lancing Devices I've never had any luck with them, so this is what works for me and Penny. She's not an easy bleeder, especially right now because she's in hypertension. So what I'll do, I forgot to heat up her rice sock. Um, this is a an old sock that I filled. I actually didn't have any rice, so it's quinoa. <laughs> but it's a quinoa in a sock. It works just like a rice sock. My microwave is a dinosaur. There's reasons why I hold on to it. Um, so I have to heat mine off for a good 30 seconds to get it warm enough to warm her ear. However, if you have a newer microwave with a turntable and one that was actually built in this century, um, you probably don't need to heat it up for 30 seconds. I know that when we stayed at a hotel during a power outage last year, I only had to use the hotel's microwave for like 15 seconds to get the same result. So I'll stick the strip in here, but not all the way in here because I'm not ready to test her yet. I have to warm her ear first. So I have my meter ready. I have the strip hanging out of it. I got a fresh lancet in my One Touch Delicate Lancing device. And we're just waiting for the second coming. Oh, and I set the microwave wrong. Whoops. So now this is way too hot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Normally, I'm going to try to test her without warming her ear um, just for the sake of because this is way too hot and we're taping. Um, crap. Hold on, because I really, normally what I would do was hold this on the outside of the ear that I want to test. Um, I'm going to try to test her without it. Well, I'll do it lightly. I'm going to turn on the light so I can see the blood drop on her ear. Penny has dark ears, so it's hard to see the blood drop on her ear. I just kind of have to hold this up against. All right, do you have her ear? Okay. Now I'll stick the strip in because I know that it's not gonna take me more than the time. That's my other cat jumping up on the condo and Penny decided to walk away and this is what happens sometimes. I try to keep her in view, all right. So then what I do, because she doesn't wanna cooperate, because my other cat just startled her, is I do a football hold. And that always calms her right down. I'm not really gonna hold this up to her ear because I don't wanna burn her, it's way too hot. But what I do normally is I would hold it up to here until her ear feels warm to the touch. Because it is warm in here today, I probably don't even need this. I might just try to get some, it's way too hot to hold up, so. Now, it's very hard to see her veins, so I kind of just take a wild guess, but what I'm aiming for is like the black part of her ear here, because that's where her vein is. And you can see that she's marked up because we've been doing this sugar dance for almost three years now, and she's gotten tested multiple times. 
Now my other cat just ran in here and startled her, so I just calmed her down again. And then what I do is I just poke her ear. See, it's not even hurting her. I may not got blood the first time because I didn't warm her ear. That's why it's important to warm her ear first. So I'll poke again. And I'm still not getting blood. And sometimes this happens. So I am going to try to hold the rice sock. It's a little bit cooler now. So now I am going to warm her ear. Now Penny likes to be scratched under her chin. You see her wanting to move. So I just kind of did another football hole. But I'm not really restraining her. She hates when I warm her ear. This is her most unfavorite part. Penny, you're being taped. Can you please cooperate? And then we'll poke again. Got blood this time. Now, she's borderline anemic, so my next thing is I'm gonna clot her. I always have a little square uh, piece of tissue or paper towel. Well, she's high today. And then I just blot her ear. Just like this. And then you give her a little kissy and kiss her ear. And her blood sugar is 98, which is actually pretty high for her in her being in remission. So I got to get down to the bottom of that. Uh, could be a hairball with her. So, but that's it. She's all done. And then I'll cut up her chicken and she'll get her chicken. And then she'll be happy and move on with her day. And I might test her later to see if her number goes down. So, uh, but that's it. If you have any questions, please post them on the Feline Diabetes message board, Feline Diabetes Facebook page. Uh, get in touch with some of the people that have been helping you by home testing. I couldn't tell you how many times I saved Penny's life uh, by home testing her. And I don't think I would have ever gotten her into remission again had I not been following tight regulation, which requires home testing to keep them safe. So have a good one. Thanks.